the day, man. I'm be giving you guys a breakdown of my team. Uh, no money spent on player, but no money spent since I've been playing this game. I've been playing this game for the most part since it came out. I've stopped here and there a little bit when Madden came out, then I stopped a little bit uh, in October. But for the most part, I have been playing this game and I have not spent any money. Just grinding my team, playing head to head, gauntlet, champlet, uh, champs. I almost called champlet. And that's pretty much what this video is going to be. I'm be showing you guys my team, the abilities I rock. Um, you know how I use certain players in certain situations and all that stuff. Uh, I am a 50 out of 50 Alabama theme team. I went Bama just because at the time I think those are the most players that I had. Um, you really just want to make a theme team with a score that's in the top 15. I'm interested to, interested to see like when the college football season's over, the college football playoffs, the championship. If they're gonna like what they're gonna do with the theme teams, if they're gonna leave them how they are, maybe they spice it up in the playoffs. You know. We'll see how all that goes. But I'll give you guys a breakdown of my team, how much I got players for and all that stuff. So uh, my left tackle, Mari Knight, I've had this guy probably since he damn near came out. He's been on my team for a very long time. Uh, my left guard, Michael Gonzalez, he's actually one of the newer stories of the week cards that came out. Uh, I actually got him for free. I pulled him. I had enough training. I opened up one of those B&D uh, 87 plus packs. So he is B&D. And um, I ended up pulling him, which is really cool because I actually really wanted him. So that was a big W. If not, who knows? Uh, this Cody O'Connell might still... Still have been out there, maybe, probably not, but you never know. Uh, but center I got, I, I can never say this guy's name, uh, but I've gotten this guy close to when he almost came out. So like a lot of my linemen I've had for a very long time, I just recently picked uh, this guy. But this is a brand new card. He came out for the Rivals promo. I don't have him upgraded to a 92, uh, but even, even without that, I mean, the guy still looks really good. I think he's still one of the top guards in the game. Uh, I am going to try to get that uh, upgrade, though. You, you got to play squads, which is crazy, but I'm going to get that done. Uh, I just recently picked up the 90 overall Boise State right tackle. He actually he looks really good uh, he's, he's like a tank too he's like six seven three hundred some pounds so i would probably say i actually have a really good offensive line i don't really have any plans on making any upgrades with it right now i'm kind of content where that's at and uh by the way i think i got the guard i don't remember how much i got the guard for but he just came out you guys know how much he is uh the right tackle i know i got him for like 50k because i think they're like price locked it's all the heisman hopeful 90 so uh tight end though you guys know uh my offense i run a two tight end offense ace offset if you haven't seen it you know it's two receivers two tight ends uh run out of charlotte playbook so i do use two tight ends as my starters that's why you probably see Devontae smith and wide receiver three and you're like what but he doesn't really play even, even at, like i have him as a backup but even then like my receivers really never come out the game that much granted i am running the ball a whole lot but uh the titans i do use i got jack bell and i picked him up for 180 a few weeks ago he's been really good like him a lot uh and then i got hunter henry i got hunter henry when he came out and i know right now he's really cheap but yeah i got him when he came out he's still one of the top tier uh tight ends in the game uh, my wide receiver one is Mr. Deshaun Jackson himself. I just actually picked up Deshaun Jackson today. I just got done my goal little up run. Sadly, I did not get the nine wins. I came up one game short. I got eight wins. We sold. That's what I do. But either way, I still had enough coins to get Deshaun Jackson. I just picked him up for 550000 now. You're probably thinking, you know, you could have got Travis Hunter, all these other guys and stuff. Deshaun Jackson is one of my favorite players all the time. And at the end of the day, I'm going to get players on one of my team that are also good. Uh, so I did go ahead and pick up d -Jax. I haven't even played a game with him yet. I will be. Uh, yeah, we got Smitty at wide receiver three. Like I said, he, he really does not play. Uh, he's just there for depth, and I like somebody. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, we got Ashton Genty, a running back one. One of the best cards in the game. I know Derek McFadden just came out today. Uh, he looks really good. I'd probably say him and Genty, just off the stats, looking at McFadden, assuming he's a really good card. Him and Genty are the top two backs in the game. Uh, my back running back is Marshawn Lynch. I actually pulled him out of a and d pack, and I was already looking to get a really good backup running back because I run the ball a lot. So my running back, too, does see the field quite a bit. And we got Marshawn Lynch, so that's a really good running back, too, to have. Uh, we still got Cam Ward at the helm. Now, he is the last two days. The last two days, uh, he's made me a little angry. I don't know what's going on. He's missing a little bit of throws here and there. I'm, you know, hopefully it's just a fluke and, you know, weird stuff's happening. But he has started to miss a couple of throws. So, you know, where we are, you know, testing the waters. And if he keeps it up, he's going. And for my wide receiver, too, we have Xavier Restrepo, who pretty card. I mean, the guy's a straight up beast. Uh, for the abilities that I'm currently rocking right now on offense, both of my receivers, Restrepo and Deshaun Jackson, have takeoff on them. Just gives them a really good release uh, when they're going to get zone coverage. Helps them run the route a little bit faster. Uh, Genty, I got Workhorse and Shifty on him. And then Cam Ward, I have Dot and Magician. I really don't know how good Dot honestly works. I've been tempted to take it off, but I don't know what I would take it off uh, for. So, Because uh, it's only 1 AP, so I just leave it on. But Magician, definitely an ability you need to have on your quarterback. Now moving on to the defense. So my defense, I do run a 3-4 four style defense so uh you're looking at like you know five defensive linemen two backers in the middle two outside corners and two outside safeties 
Uh, that's pretty much how I run my three four. So I'll kind of give that a quick breakdown. I'll talk about the abilities and all that. Uh, for my free safety, I still use Ed Reed. Uh, I am actually about to start working on two make some upgrades for my defense because I've been working on my offense for a while. So now I, I wanted to get Deshaun Jackson. Now I'm gonna start, you know, definitely make some upgrades for my defense. Would love to get that new Deion Sanders, but you know he's a lot of coins. But uh, free safety, I still got Ed Reed. He's pretty good. He makes me mad here and there. So I don't know, but I, he's overall still really good. Uh, Wesley Bustain is actually one of my inside backers. I do not use uh, Chris Paul's actually my backup middle linebacker. I sub in Chris Paul where he's at, and I have him play right in the middle next to Sean Dolik. Bustain, by the way, really good. I, I love this card a lot. Uh, Dolik, on the other hand, he's kind of wishy-washy. I think he's going to be the first guy that I'm looking to replace on defense, so that's probably going to happen. Uh, my left outside linebacker is Javon Curse. He's really good. I like him a lot. Really fast. You know, he gets to the quarterback, which is you know exactly what I want. Uh, my strong safety, I do have Caleb Danza. I do have him out of position, and I know some people are like, well, he's out of position. He's not getting the boost and all that stuff. He's still getting the 50 out of 50 boost. It just does not count towards my 50 out of 50 count because technically I would be like 51 out of 50 or something like that. Uh, but since he's out of position, it does not. But he's really good. I got him for when he came out. Ed Reed, I got him a while ago. I don't even remember how much I got him for. He was so cheap. But staying, I got him closer to kind of when he came out, so he was a little bit more coins. Dolik, I got him way after he came out. He was cheap. Uh, Javon Curse, I did play a little bit for him. I want to say I got Javon Curse the week after he came out or the week he came out. He... He, he wasn't cheap. As for my cornerback one, I do have Malcolm Jenkins. I do play a decent amount of man. I play a 50-50. It's split between zone and man. It really just depends what the offense is coming out. And certain looks, I like literally only run man. And certain looks, I might only run zone. So it really just kind of depends. And I say that because he has a lot higher man than zone. And, you know, for me, if I'm going to play man, you got to have really good man. And Malcolm Jenkins has been really good for me. Uh, Kobe Bryant is my corner three. He's just a bench player. He does not really play because uh, really my corners don't come out the game a whole lot. But, yeah, he's basically just there for depth uh my right end is julius peppers i am probably looking on to looking to move on from julius peppers jalen carter and kenneth grant honestly all three of them i'm looking to move on from all of them because uh, right now how i run my d line is i do uh i run sean dolik and bastain those are my middle backers and then as for the d line it's javon curse and brian arakpo those are my uh two outside backers so they're playing off the edge and then my interior alignment it's peppers carter and kenneth uh peppers you know like they're all not bad but i just feel like we could get insane more production. So I think my game plan is going to be to probably move Javon Curse and Arakpo inside, like rushing over top the left guard and right guard. So that would be where Julius Peppers and uh, Kenneth Grant are. And then maybe just get two new crazy outside backers. Maybe probably keep Javon Curse off the edge, but definitely move Arakpo to the inside. Uh, and probably just upgrade my D-line for the most part. Only guy I think that I'm, I'm definitely going to keep a Curse and Arakpo, probably just moving around and stuff. Uh, but my cornerback too is still Travis Hunter. He's still overall pretty good. Uh, maybe I would like to get that Dion to replace him, but you know, like I say, he's a lot of coins. As for the abilities I rock on defense, I only rock quick jumps. So I got quick jump on both my edge rushers in Javon Kirsten or uh, Arakpo. And then I have a uh, quick jump on Julius Peppers. I think I, I have him rushing over the left guard. And then uh, my last quick jump on Jalen Carter, he rushes over top of the center. And then for my special teams, uh, I, you know, you can obviously tell I don't really care about special teams too much. My punter is Tory Taylor. I think he's literally B and D. I think I got him out of a pack, so he became my punter. Uh, I still have Zane Gonzalez as my kicker. I look, man. I'm able to hit like 54 yards with him, so that's good enough for me. I think the abilities I have on him, I don't even know what I have on him. I have deep range on bronze and mega leg for silver. That's like the best stuff he gets, so that's just what I have on him. As for the strategy cards I do use, I use the running back strat card on offense, and I use the defensive back strategy card on uh, defense. I'm not sure what I can put in for the program strategy. I don't know what you put in there if anybody knows, but uh, run Charlotte uh, playbook on offense and the Oregon uh, playbook on defense. And that right there is how my uh, team is coming along right now. It's a no money spent team. I do not spend money at all on this game. I just straight up grind it. Uh, it's how I do it. It's how I've always been these ultimate team games, even, you know, uh, when I played Madden, it was uh, the same way. I just I, I don't like to spend money on these games. I don't see much of a point. Just you know, even if you only play like a season a day, a day or something like that. As long as you're you know, if you're winning games, I mean, you're going to make coins on here. Like if you're if you're not winning games, then you're gonna have to find an alternative way to make coins. You're gonna have to work the market. You're gonna have to do stuff like that. It doesn't mean you have to buy packs. There's different ways to do it. I never recommend buying packs in all these games. It's just you know, it's not my motto. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys today, man. I think I'm gonna do future team update uh, videos in the future when there's a lot of changes to the team and stuff.
stuff. You can always see uh, my uh, a, a miniature update to my team as well. If you're, you're tapping with the streams, and then when I drop gameplays and stuff, I always kind of talk about that. But I'll do like full breakdowns on my team whenever like there's a bunch of changes, and you know, uh, we're switching up a whole lot. So that's something we'll do in the future. But if you did enjoy the video, man, drop a like. If you want to see more College uh, 25 content, sub to the channel if you're not already subbed, and if you want to see me play the game live. Follow the Twitch the link that's down in the description. We try to get on every single day, usually the morning to the afternoon, kind of in that area of playing. That's it for this one, though, boys. I'll see y'all in the next one.